Hello, Royal folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been accused of hypocrisy, as a former Tory MP claims everyone's fed up with them. Louise Menchin, who was MP for Corby through 2010 to 2012, when she resigned to move to New York, told Piers Morgan on Sky News Australia, the wild couple sell a lot of books. They have chucked away whatever credibility they had with both hands. The news panel was discussing the recent South Park episode, entitled Worldwide Privacy Tour, where the Prince and Princess of Canada are mocked for claiming that they want privacy and seclusion, while simultaneously drawing attention to themselves. The cover of South Park's book, WAG, also bears a stinking resemblance to Harry's autobiography, Spare, which was released last month. Miss Mensch told Piers Morgan, now they sell a lot of books because, let's face it, they all like a bit of gossip, but they've chucked away whatever credibility they had with both hands. A spokesperson for the Sussexes yesterday shot down the rumors that the couple were planning to sue over the parody. The spokesperson told People magazine, it's frankly all nonsense, told Baseless Boring Reports. In cartoon comedy show, the Prince and Princess appeared on the TV chat show, Good Morning Canada, while holding signs saying, we want our privacy, stop looking at us. They also go on a tour to different locations around the world as part of their quest for privacy. In their interview with Oprah in 2021, Megan addressed a question about whether her family should expect to lose privacy due to their royal status. She said, I think everyone has a basic right to privacy. Basic. We're not talking about anything that anybody else wouldn't expect. The Duchess of Sussex explained, if you're at work and you have a photograph of your child on your desk, and your coworker says, oh my gosh, your kid's so cute, that's fantastic. Can I see your phone so I can see all the pictures of your child? You go, no, this is a picture I'm comfortable sharing with you. If they double down, say no, but you already showed me that one, so you have to show me everything. You know what, I'm just going to hire someone to sit in front of your house or hide in the bushes, take pictures in your backyard, because you've lost your right to privacy because you've shared one image with me. After the release of their Netflix documentary series last December, Harry and Meghan's global press secretary released a statement saying their decision to step back mentions nothing of privacy and reiterates their desire to continue their royals and public duties. Any suggestions otherwise speak to the key point of this series. They're choosing to share their story on their terms, and yet the tabloid media has created an entirely untrue narrative that permeates press coverage and public opinion. The facts are right in front of them. So what do you guys think about this news? Harry and Meghan using the royal name for the sake of publicity? Are you also fed up with Harry and Meghan's hypocrisy and their victim game? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.